Welcome back, everyone, to part six of What If Naruto Befriended Kurama Early. So, as I mentioned in the community tab, I had a power outage at my place on Tuesday night. The power did not come back until Wednesday evening. <laughs> a massive storm knocked a tree down, took out a power, took out a freaking power, uh, electric, um, uh, power line. Why am I, why am I blanking on a pole? Took out a pole and the, and the, uh, generator on the pole. Um... Uh, so, like, it took a long time for them to fix, but they fixed it, and then yesterday came, and there really wasn't, I was planning to at least do a little bit of catch-up, but then my girlfriend came over early, because we were gonna go see Twisters, and so I'm like, screw it, I don't care if it kills my voice, every video I gotta do to, that I need to catch up on is being done today, and so, that's where we, <laughs> and that's where we start, with part six of what if Naruto befriend a Kraman. I have a big bo big glass of or a big cup of water here on my Last Jedi um, novelty cup, which has seen better days, but still you can still see the majority of it. All right, so last time on the Naruto What If, I got my Dragon Ball Z voice on. Last time on Naruto What If, Naruto had finally gained access to Kurama. Now, a couple of points to be made here. Because uh, it got brought up, they always get things always get brought up, and just my, to give my take and whatnot. Uh, someone said Yama, Yamato or Tenzo would probably be there, although he wouldn't be Yamato, he'd be Tenzo. And honestly, yeah, that was probably something I overlooked. Tenzo would be there. Uh, now Donzo probably might be privy to this as well, what's going on, but he's probably not a hundred percent sure why. Like Tenzo was cap, he just was. Uh, beyond that, though. Uh, someone brought up, I think, I think I know who it was, brought up the idea that Shikaku is actually stronger than a couple of the other tail beasts, that the tail beast's tails denominate the amount of chakra they have, which has always been my belief. I know some individuals on uh, YouTube, like I know uh, Nick and uh, Nick are an NC Hammer, who I love Nick, and he looks great, and I love him, and honestly I would defer to him more to me than Bernardo knowledge, says that's not the case, that the tails don't necessarily denote chakra, I'm like, no, there's never been anything that says they don't, and it would make sense. We know that Karam is the strongest, Yuki's the second strongest. Uh, and so that, if you just go down the line, that would make sense in terms of the amount of chakra they have. Now, they all have their specialities. Ikaku's got, uh, Shikaku allegedly has one among the strongest defense. Maybe Asobi's also got uh, the, an equal defense. Um, he's got magnet release, manipulating sand, curse mark seals. Yeah, uh, Matabi is known as the fastest one, the two-tailed cat, and fire release. Son Goku has allegedly the strongest keke Gankai with the law release, and also is arguably the most intelligent. So forth and so on. They all have their specialities. But, I don't logically see how Shikaku is stronger. I don't, I've never seen any evidence. I even, when I saw the comment, I even looked up, I was like, okay, the tail beast ranked in terms of strength. And every one of them still denotes the, the tail ranking. And that just logically makes sense. Like, like theoretically, just because Shikaku has, like, a strong defense, sand, and, like, curse seal markings on him that he can use to theoretically seal things, doesn't mean logically he would beat Matabi just be uh, because, A, Matabi would have more chakra, B, she's faster, and C, she has insane fire release. She's almost made of fire. So that means, in theory, sand doesn't mean jack shit here. Uh, so, I, again, that's just my take. If, if you argue it, that's fine. Again, I just... I've never seen a lot of evidence to support that. Regardless, those are the only two things I really wanted to bring up. Now we're almost four minutes in. Let's get into this. So Naruto has now and Kurama have now basically gotten to their ship in an era. They've gotten to this. They can now Naruto now can access all of Kurama's chakra and can take the forms of Kurama. Now that this begs the question. I brought up I think earlier in I think part one or two, or it may have been a different what if that. Naruto, as far as we see as an adult, doesn't access the multiple tail forms anymore. He accesses, we know he can access like a base amount of Kurama's chakra, his eyes turn the, you know, the fox slits. We know he can still activate his KCM1 mode and his KCM2 mode. But can he activate, say, the tail modes? Like, you know, two tail, three tail, four tail, whatever. Can he still do the V2 version cloak? Can he do any of those still? My guess is yes, but he has such a strong bond, and the way the seal works is also a little different. It would probably look different, too. But my guess is yes, and the KCM1 is much stronger than the base amount of chakra he was getting before. 
But I think he just I think he just doesn't find it necessary because he can't just go straight to the nine tail form if he needs to. Still, I think it would be interesting if Naruto did decide to access if he could access other tail beasts like tail chakra forms. Maybe he does. Uh, maybe he has that. Maybe that's something we'll explore. I think it would be cool to see this style, but with the multiple tails. For example, Naruto maybe has three tails activated. And therefore, he's got the three golden tails that maybe can turn into chakra arms and stuff like that. That would be really cool. Regardless, they prep for the uh, for the finals. And Naruto is, again, in the training area. And he's contemplating things. Now, it's not, he's not looking down on himself for thinking he can't... Not sure if he can beat Neji. Uh, this is... Because it's clear. Naruto knows 100% he can beat Neji. Probably without Karama's chakra, to be honest. Uh, or at least very minimum, he'll give him a good fight. But if he needs to, he can just tap in some Karama's Chakra and we're good to go. I think he's more contemplating just uh, uh, contemplative of everything that's gone on in his life up to this point. Like, he's worked hard to be a strong ninja without Karama, but he's also worked hard with Karama as well. You know, And Karama and him were kind of having a chat. It's like, you nervous kid? It's like, come on, we're going to cream him. That's not, what I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. It's not Neji we're going to have to worry about. We can tan on that kid, no problem. You know exactly who we are going to have to worry about. And it's not Sasuke, obviously. Although they're looking for, he's, Naruto's looking forward to fighting Sasuke, 100%. And Naruto, it's really Gara that he's really contemplating. I was like, you know, he's, you're sure, you're 100% he's a Shikaku, kid. You have my ability to sense things now. You can set, you, and what, and what are you sensing right out? Naruto kind of like, kind of susses out the air. And even in the village, he can feel so much contempt from some people, and particularly that one massive bit spike coming from Gara. Naruto wasn't a very good censor until Kurama. With Kurama, he became one of the best censors. Figure that out. I mean, we can figure it out. We know how it happens, but still. And Naruto's been able to practice with, uh, you know, his negative emotion sensing for a little bit at this point. We gotta put that fire, we gotta put that crazy Nuki down, or otherwise he's gonna kill people. It's like I know, but what is it? He's he's like me. When you really break it down, Karama, he's just like me. He's like I was. But he didn't have but his tail beast didn't want to work with him and and you know, help him. His tail beast just wanted to kill people. You know, no one uh, cared about him. Everybody just and by the way, I fully imagine that the um the Lee Gar Shikamaro incident has happened at this point. Uh but and be, uh, now you might ask, well, how could that happen? Yeah, you know, Naruto wasn't in the hospital recovering from Bunta. No, but I think he's probably been messed up enough that even Karam's like, I'm not going to be able to heal you right out, kid. You're going to have to uh, you're gonna have to go and recover in the hospital. It's like, dry. Are you going to take him? Sure, I'll take him. And so that's where that meeting happened. And I think Garo maybe is going a little bit more crazy because now the fox is completely released in Naruto. So even Shikaku was like, is that, is, that can't be Karama? <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't wait to... Karama, come out and play, Karama! And Gar's like, hey, come out and play. And Naruto, with Shikamaru, isn't really to reveal anything, but he does kind of flash a little bit of chakra in his eyes. Like, he ends like, I don't want to take you out here if I don't have to. I uh, uh, have to. We, uh, and and he's like, you have a monster inside you, so do I. A real monster. And Naruto isn't phased by it. Although, he, what he is phased by is his demeanor. It's like, this guy, this, he is just like me. Is this what I really could have turned into? And so Naruto is still squaring up, and then the guy, you know, shows up. It's like, I will kill you all. Naruto actually does, actually legitimately kind of puts the shoulders in to kind of stop. It's like, I'll see you in the ring. <laughs> and Gar just kind of, mm, and he kind of just gets a little grin on his face. And so we're back to them contemplating, how are we going to do with this? It's like, uh, my, it's like my, my suggestion, Brat, just take down the Tanuki as best you can. Don't worry about the boy. The, 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 He's not gonna. He's not gonna ch kill his own vessel. I know, but and he's like, yeah, the boy. It's like there's someone else here. And he's like, huh? He's like, wait, what? And then he sees Hinata there, who's recovering about as well as she did in the original. And he's like, hey, Hinata, because remember, these guys are actually closer friends here. They actually have gotten to know each other a little bit. Not anything in depth. I'm not gonna just pair them off right here, but you can pretty much see that Naruto and Hinata will get together at the end of this one. Again, just to recap, I don't change a pairing unless I feel like it makes sense. I'm not going to just do a pairing for pairing's sake. That's not what ifs I do. Uh, but if it makes sense, like, uh, just to recap, I've done Naruto and Eo before, Naruto and Kari, and I think at least twice. Naruto and 
Tamari. Someone actually asked which one I did that, and I had to double check. It's the Makoto adopting Naruto one. Yeah, so him and I've done Naruto and Tayuya. Um, is there anyone else? Who haven't I done? Uh, just side note. Naruto and Sakura I have not done. Naruto and um, there's another. Oh, Ten Ten I have not done. Naruto and Fu I'm looking forward to a Naruto and Fu pairing at some point. I like that pairing. Um, Naruto and uh, Karui haven't done that one. Naruto and Yukito is probably too old for Naruto, so I wouldn't do that. But Naruto and say Karasuchi, that's she might be older than him, but probably not by enough that it's weird. So those are those are five pairings right out the gate I haven't done yet. I wouldn't do a Naruto in May, except for the suggestion that I change the ages up. But regardless, I, I digress. So Hinata is just asking, are you nervous about tomorrow? I was like, yeah, <laughs> tomorrow, me? Nervous? Never. Nar Come on, Hinata, you know me. And he's just like, never. It's like, and uh, Hinata's still got the concerned look on her face. Like, Naruto, you can't hide that from me. I've known you for too long. I know when you're, I know when you're confident, legitimately confident. I know when you're legitimately nervous. And Naruto's a little taken back. So, and your girl was like, <laughs> your girlfriend, girlfriend knows you pretty well, kid. It's like, <laughs> Naruto again blushes. And it like blushes, but she says, shut up. <laughs> Look, I guess I am nervous. It's, it's okay, Naruto. I know, I know you can be mad. Jean's like Naruto's looking at. <laughs> I thank, thanks, you know. That means a lot. But uh, if it's any consolation, Neji's not the one I'm worried about tomorrow, huh? No, trust me. I'm gonna I kick his ass for what he did to you. You better believe that. <laughs> and he just gives her the cheeky smile and she blushes. Uh, but and it's like, so why are you nervous? Uh, Naruto doesn't want to explain exactly what it is, but it's uh, at some point I'm gonna have to face that Gara kid. He's way stronger than Neji. He's unlike Neji. There's something dangerous about him, and I might have to. I might have to go so far as to really hurt him to put him down. And I don't know if I want to do that. It's like, uh, well, I mean, he did hurt Lee. It's like, I know you're Lee, but you know, I got. I know. I'm, and he, 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 I can't explain how, but I know he's like me, and it's, I know he had the same type of issues I had. I know he was alone like I was for a long time. And I know that his people hated him like they hated me for a long time. And Naruto, and just for a little fans, and he nodded basically goes, because of the fox. And Naruto's like, what, Naruto? I know you have the nine tails inside you. And I'm like, Naruto, I know you. I'm not going to do the voice. I've had people say, don't do that, please. Uh, I'm not going to do it. But I'll do I'll slightly feminine it up so you know it's Hina. It's like, I know you have the nine tails inside of you. I'm, I'm a Hugo. And she actually smiles like, I'm a Hugo. And she actually gets him now like a cheeky smile that she kind of picked up from him. He's like, I'm a Hugo, Naruto. I can, I, I've seen chakras what I do. And I've seen how all the villagers treated you. And, you know, I've heard the rumors going about this. And Naruto's now like, and you, you've still been my friend this whole time? And he's like legitimately shocked. And Kurama's just like patiently listening. He's like, listening. And... Yeah, he's like, no, it's not, I can't. It wasn't your fault. Nothing. None of that's your fault. You're so, and none, none of that. Uh, whether the and the far and everything you've uh, had, everything you've done, you've done to just be the best you can be and to help people, including uh, anyone, including me. And that's why you're my hero, Naruto. And she blushes, saying, like, "Then she bare." Oh, it's almost like her. She's confessing, and now Naruto is a little gobsmacked. He's like, oh, and the Karama, she's like, "Oh, she's a keeper. You, you do. You hold on to that girl, and you never let go, kid." <laughs> and, and 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 Naruto's actually feeling like flushed, like she she liked me even just for me, and now he's like kind of blushing, and they're maybe they're maybe like having a moment where their faces are getting kind of closer. I was like Hinata, I, uh, and 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 she's like Naruto, <laughs> and Krama's just like uh, I was like uh, and uh, they're like um I uh, thank you. And I think Naruto maybe does something to screw it up. Like, uh, maybe he trips or... Ah! <laughs> They're sitting down. Well, actually, no, they'd be standing for this time, Maggie. Like, maybe he just leans in and just says... Ah! <laughs> and oh, and he, Naruto, you okay? It's like, oh, oh God, that was so awkward. <laughs> and the fox is like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, that is both painful and hilarious all at once. <laughs> but Karan's like, oh, it's a done deal now. You two are, you two are getting together and having all oh, those little kids. And, like, and they kind of just have a laugh, and they feel this is not the right time. But they're kind of now Nar does really kind of feeling feeling the feels. So and I, you know, I didn't even intend for this romantic scene, but I actually think this type of scene makes a lot more sense in the context of this story. They know each other a bit better here, so they're a bit more comfortable with each other. Naruto isn't worried about Neji. He's worried about Gara and him relating his past to Hinata. 
about it relating it to Gara makes sense here. The Naruto, if you're not knowing that Naruto had the nine-tailed fox, I'll admit, I'm throwing that in for just fun's sake, but it would theoretically make sense if you thought about it. Hugo is we know Neji saw his chakra network, he saw the nine-tailed fox chakra, so it's not impossible by any stretch of the means she could have figured it out. Especially because the uh, older generations definitely spilled the beans about them. We know Donzo was the one who spilled the beans, but then there was, you know, a game, a game of negativity telephone on that. So ultimately, they they just kind of hold hands, and you know, and Naruto even says, "I'll walk you back to your house." And compound, and she, you know, he holds her hand, and she's like doing everything she can not to pass out, but then he's holding my hand, and he's taking me, in. and it's like, mm. it's like, I don't care that we didn't kiss. This is amazing. And she takes him back, and I think Ko's there. Hey, Nada, there you are. I was worried sick, and it's like, and it's like here you go. It's like, oh, Naruto, uh, I see you brought Lady Hunata home. Thank you. And I was like, yeah, th you're welcome, Ko. Uh, good to see you again, because they met years ago. And uh, Naruto, I hear you're facing Naji tomorrow. All I can say is, good luck. And try. Uh, do not take anything he says too personally. He has been through a lot. He's like, hmm? And it's like, what do you mean? And I think Ko decides to like, spill the tea a little bit on what happened with Neji. Naruto listens. And Kurama's actually kind of infuriated by what he hears. Like, you bust, you humans. And you seal us tail piece away. And you seal even yourselves. Ugh. Um, and, and Naruto's like, uh, thanks, Ko, for that. I'll see you. I'll see you when I have things yes, I want to kick Neji's butt. Uh, or, uh, and so, there you go. And the day comes, and Naruto goes and squares off. Uh, is ready to square off with Neji. Now, I will say, I think Naruto's outfit's changed up a bit. I think he's now in a just, yeah, a smaller version of his Shippuden outfit at this point. Uh, the reason I say that is his old outfit has probably been destroyed thanks to too much training. And the combatants, the combatants are set, ready, and begin. Any last words? It's like, I'm going to win. And I don't care what you think about Destiny. And Destiny is bullcrap. And, like, so be it. And Naruto and him are square enough. And Naruto rushes in. Now, remember, even though Naruto has been training a lot with the Fox Chakra, his physical abilities have not slouched all. In fact, they're quite impressive. I had put Sasuke prior to his training at around weightless Lee level. Naruto was close to that but not quite now with more training naruto is beyond weightless lead level he's at least a couple gate lead level not quite fourth gate uh like neji is still faster than him but neji is even surprising he's fast <laughs> and there you know squaring off and naruto's even got uh, arguably better reflexes just because he's so random so he just when neji goes in for a strike naruto actually is able to kind of like toss the hand away with a bit of a side block naruto comes in again with a with a fist neji's actually having to block effectively he twists manages to land a shot on naruto's shoulder but again he, like in the original he misses i missed it's like, uh, all right let's try this shadow clone jutsu Boom. multiple naruto's come in and those naruto's at speed neji gonna have to put some work in like he's he's got his blaze unfortunately his blind spot isn't covered at the moment with rotation it is but you know what i mean so when you have that many naruto's at that speed coming in he immediately just has to boom, rotation it's like what the thing like, you may I admit, Naruto, you're impressive. You made me have to uh, reveal my rotation early. And Yashi and everyone's stunned by that. It's like, I see. Uh, it's a it's a technique only known by the main household. Yeah, you really have a, lot, a heart and a hate on for the main household, do you? You don't understand anything. It's like, I understand what, I I understand a lot more than you think. You hate the main branch because of what they did to your, fa your father. It's like, you don't know any who told you that. It's like, it's like a little friend. You're not the only one who's got to... Uh, I've got one or two uh, friend, uh, friends of the Hugh clan. Uh, or, sorry, I got one or two friends who know a thing or two. And Hiyashi's also wondering who told them that. Like, mm hmm. And Ko's, like, and Ko's just kind of sitting in the background, like, <laughs> like he's not being that suspicious. But he's like, mm -hmm. it's like who, how, did, how did Naruto find out about that? I'm sorry what happened to your father, but your father uh, your father was a hero. He saved your, your cousin, someone who had no who is blameless in this just you blame her for being you blame your stat uh, you, or you blame your position based on how you're born but you do because of how you're born but you blame her for how she, just because she was born you don't see their hypoc uh, you don't see their hypocrisy in that when both of you didn't do anything to deserve it and you're and you're just gonna sit, uh, stand there and tell me uh tell me that you uh it's right to just hate her for something she had no control over you don't know anything and you know immediately takes it off explains the full story and Arto just kind of looks on, it's like, and so what? 
<laughs> so life's not fair. So what? It's your you take your destiny into your hands. No one does that for you. Uh, you got to make your decisions yourself and uh, deal with the consequences of it. It's like yeah. It's like, uh, it's like, I'm going to fit, I'm going to end you. Then he makes more shadow clones, and it's like, <laughs> he need to quickly rushes through and hits the real Naruto. <laughs> it's pointless to make that many clones if you're just going to hide in the back all the time. And Naruto's must, you're right, it is. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the Naruto's come in, and again, they're fast. Neji's able to catch a bunch of them. Naruto quickly hangs on, it stops real quickly. He's got some of the Fox's chakra on his feet ready. The minute he sees it slow down, he... <laughs> Rushes in, and Neji nearly stops the rotation just to meet a fist in the face. Boom! And everyone's like, he timed the rotation just as it stopped. The kid's good. It's like, Ugh! But unfortunately, Neji, as he, I said, Nara's like, Ugh! as he got hit, Neji he actually managed to see it coming. Just, boom! Boom! Like, you know, just, it's like, Ugh! And it's like, damn it, it's like, you're, in, you're within my eight trigrams. Just starts wailing on Naruto. Da, 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 da. Finally just goes down. Uh, it's over. I admit you were stronger than I assumed, but you are not never destined to be me. This is fate. And Naruto just, you know, he starts walking in before Naruto's like, oh, God, I didn't realize how much that would hurt. And all of a sudden, it's like, what are you talking? And then all of a sudden, Neji sees, like, his chakra points are just opening back up. How? And that chakra, uh, well, you're, uh, I can't catch you at this speed. Man, I was really hoping to save this for a for a little, uh, I was hoping well, not to show this off, but I suppose, I suppose it's uh, worth uh, worth try worth showing at least a little bit of off now. And he goes into KCM one, which is his, basically his new base. Let's be man, man, it's his new base. Yes, he could theoretically still use the miss, uh, the main Karama thing where it's got the you know the eyes and the, but I think that's his new base. And plus the speed boost is unreal it's because he's literally moving at light speeds at that point. It's like, what is this chakra? And everyone else is sensing it, but they're feeling the power, but they're not overwhelmed like they were originally. It's like, this feels surprisingly calm and controlled and peaceful. And here's it is looking on in awe, like, so Jiraiya really did help him to do it. The Nine Tails Fox is under his control, completely under his control. <laughs> yeah, the boy may even be stronger than I am at this point. Um, uh, incredible. Meanwhile, another person is going, that power. It can't be. The boy, the boy was powerful. Nonetheless, I only the only reason I, I underestimated him last. This this power is something completely different. What is it? <laughs> it's still the fox's chakra, but different. Naruto is also getting a good layout of like the sensory here, and he's like, what? Am Here's the thing. Naruto is so focused on the fight that let's fo finish the fight first. He quickly just poof, and just, poof, and, just uh, and then he just drops. There's no way Neji can follow him at that speed. None. Not a, not a, and Naruto's probably going easy on the speed ride. He's not maxing it out. Just, <laughs> like, are you, I'm sorry, Neji, but uh, I don't believe in fate. You know what fate is? It's a crux for those who don't have uh, confidence to try to go what they, after what they want. And it's like, you? And he just, <laughs> and Naruto's just, mm, uh, it's like, I'm, I'm going to give you a chance right now. Give up right now. You can't beat me, Neji. Uh, and uh, it's like, you? And Edgy tries to get a rotation going, but Naruto just, boom, snaps the rotation. Uh, and he just kind of, boom, just kind of does a light palm thrust. Just, boom, uh, uh, boom. And, you know, he drops the cloak and everyone, and che uh, everyone cheers. And like, wow, woo! It's like, wow, that's amazing. Wow. And now Naruto, and, like, and he goes to see Edgy again. Uh, I don't know what that power was. But you're born different. Just you're just born. Uh, you, I guess you were just born different. Fate smiled on you more than me. It's like, yeah, really? I thought fate was supposed to be on your side. <laughs> and Naruto's basically throwing it back in his face, which is what he should have honestly. One of the things he should have done. Yeah, like don't get me wrong. He's, what he said too. It was the Shadow Jutsu I felt, which was still great. But throwing it back in his face, like really? Because all this time you were saying it was me that you were gonna win, right? And then just, mm. yeah, you see how the fate argument doesn't work. It's because there isn't any, there's no such thing as fate. Now, anyone's trying to argue the Asura Indra thing. <laughs> See, the problem is, and, and, and uh, people said, "Oh, Naruto's actually the reincarnation of Ninja Jesus." Uh, first off, no, he's not. That would be Hagaroma, technically. Um, because technically, Kagi is the god, and then Hagaromo is the Jesus. Uh, but 
the thing is, without training to utilize and access those abilities of the Azura Path and, sorry, of Asura and uh, Indra, them being reincarnated is completely irrelevant to the story when you actually break it down. The, yes, when you, because if they really were, like, Nar, let's put it this way. Naruto and Sasuke would not have been getting their asses kicked if they were accessing all their abilities from the get. Problem is, they didn't have access to those abilities. It, it, it took them near both dying to access their abilities. And not the first time either of them had damn near died. So, yeah, I I have never bought into the argument that it's a bullshit. Like, you know, I've never agreed with the whole idea that, well, Naruto does the reincarnation of Ninja Jesus. So, you know, it's all... And Neji was kind of right. It's like, no, Neji wasn't right. Um, ne Neji wasn't a hundred percent wrong, but he was most he was not right. Um, regard and to be fair, I think um, Kishimoto kind of forced that to happen as well. So I don't see that. Uh, I don't see that argument. Regardless, though, Naruto maybe doesn't turn off the chakra, uh, his chakra form yet, because after he's done focusing on Neji and they go and get the, and you know Neji contemplating things. Naruto now can finally feel the the air in the room, so to say. He's and he's like, wait, what? And he's like, realizes there's a lot of a killing intent in this room, like this arena, like a lot of it. And the Kage, what the? And he actually, even though he never actually had the sensory capability, even with that, for some reason, the Kurama's like, kid, I know that chakra, I recognize that. So and he real and. It's the it's that damn snake. It's like ah, uh, and we what, what what do we do? It's like we can't just call him out here or anything like that. No, we gotta we gotta get to the whole the, We gotta get to the third. But they're not gonna let me through. Um, and it's like well, it's like yeah, but they'll let the old they'll let the toad army, uh, go, the whole toad sage go through. It's like we gotta find Jiraiya and say perfect sage now. And so like yeah, and he walks in and quickly makes a call. It's like go find Jiraiya asap. Now luckily having sensor capabilities. Uh, at this point, he can still lock onto a, like the biggest chakra source, and he's probably now experienced his chakra enough to know how it feels. So he does quickly go and find him. Still takes a little bit, so you still have the Tamara Shikamaru fight happen like normal, and then you would eventually get into the Gara Sasuke fight. It's at this point that once Gara Sasuke shows up, Jiraiya shows up, appearing next to Hirazen, who kind of, and he kind of just whispers, "Oh, hey, old man, no, I just uh." He came here to watch the fight from the uh, from the sides, uh, from uh, get a spectator spot. If that's okay, of course, Lord Jiraiya. And Earth was like Jiraiya. It's like this is not quite how I planned it. It's like Jiraiya is. I'm, like, I'm confident I can beat Jiraiya, but and he kind of leans in and, and Sarutobi's like, mm -hmm. I see. It's like it's something wrong, Sarutobi. Is there something wrong, Lord Okage? Not at all, Lord Okage Kage. You would just uh, you know, it just has to do with Nar uh, young Naruto training under Jiraiya, that's all. And he just was updating me on Naruto's status. I see. Would he, and, he, and I think, you know, would it be uh, appropriate to imply that he is, is, is he what I think he is? is it, uh, and then it's like, mm, that would depend on what you think he is. I, and yeah, I think you know what I, I think you know what I think. <laughs> and, and I think you know that I think you, that uh, you should say what you think. But no, seriously. It's like, uh, is he the Jin Cherokee of the Nine Tails? Mm. Uh, I'm not liberally. Uh, it's like uh, that's a, quite a bold statement. Uh, you are assuming that the Nine Tails uh, still has a Jin Cherokee and not just sealed away. It's like uh, I'm no fool, Saratobi. You, after all, we have our own Jin Cherokee as well. Or did you forget? Mm, I have not forgotten. I should also ask the question then. And that boy who seems to be unstable, should I assume he's the, the he's your Jinchuriki of the One Tails then? Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, I won't say unless you do. And it's like, well, then I suppose we're at the stalemate then. <laughs> and uh, you know, Rochimaru's like, he's being a bit coy, but whatever. So Sasuke shows up. Now, I had mentioned that Sa I might add another villain leader to Sasuke's repertoire. I have decided against it because I felt one month of training is not enough, added on the fact he's still got to learn in Shidori. What I have included, though, is a different jutsu entirely, along with it. Because, as I said, Sasuke was already at weightless lead speeds, which is basically the speeds he needed to use the Jidori effectively. So he was already at those speeds and probably got faster through the training. So he did not have to spend so much time physically training to get his speed up. 
which means it gave him extra time to train. So not only does he have the Jidori down, he might even have enough Chakra 3 Blast of the Jidori, plus a fun little variation. So Sasuke and Gara immediately get into a fight. A lot of it's the same, although Sasuke is even faster here, so he's already having an easier time with Gara. Naruto, meanwhile, you know, gets a Kakashi. He's like, Kakashi, we need to stop the sense that we need to stop the fight right now. It's like, oh, we're at Naruto, you, you shouldn't. Oh, I heard you won your match. Congratulations. It's like, Thanks, but we need to stop the match. This is not a fight Sasuke should be doing, having. And it's like, well, are you, are you doubting your friend's ability? No, I'm worried. It, but he doesn't know what he's up against. It's like, and it's like, what do you mean exactly? He's like me, Kakashi Sensei. And it's like, was and Nar Kakashi Kakashi's smart. I think he, he almost figures it out. I mean, but he's like, he's like, and Naruto holds up his fingers. He's like me. <laughs> and and Naruto like, Kakashi, how many? <laughs> that one I actually got from a fanfic. That uh, interaction. He's like, well, still, I think this will be a good test for Sasuke. If it gets rough, we'll step in. And so and again, so, uh, Gara is, you know, is uh, is attacking him with the sand. One of the new tricks he's learned, though, is a, a fire style version of the Chidori. Not as effective in terms of the piercing ability as the, uh, you know, the electric variant, but something that would be good for like a searing shot kind of strike. So, you know, he charges in. Just, and it probably costs less chakra for him because even though uh, lightning element is technically one of his main elements, his main element originally was fire, and it's also not like a it's not like a plasma. He's literally just holding a fist, uh, fist of fire. What I would kind of liken it to, if you've ever watched Yu Yu Hakusho, is when he does the fist of the mortal flame, something like that. So he just <laughs> kind of like just lights his fists up a little bit, like I like I can see it being like a horse fire style, and then. I believe that's four. I believe that's four. I could be wrong on that. I can't remember every single one of the hand signs by name. Like, I remember what they look like. I remember that one's horse. That one is rooster. That's sheep. That's dog. That's dragon. I want to say that is boar. Uh... Mm, okay, and now, now, I get, uh, now I get a little uh, tricky on here. Um, I want to say that's, uh, I want to say that's ox or dragon. Um, and then there's that one. I don't even remember what that one is. I know, I mean, I remember the sign. I'm actually, I'm still blanking. Oh, and then there's that one. Um, but yeah, point being, he just kind of does the hands, does this, and all of a sudden his hands, you know, are on fire, just do, 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 punching through the sand, just poof, even hitting Gara. Gara eventually does the sand barrier. He does the Jidori. And all hells breaks loose from there. Blood, it's my blood! And so Gara and the, you know, the invasion begins. Kurama basically saves Naruto from getting put under a Genjutsu, because Perfect and Kuriki are pretty much almost immune to Genjutsu. Unless it's, it has to be something on a level like an infinite Tsukiyome, pretty much to be able to get you under a Genjutsu. Even Tsukiyome, you can get out of. Which is insane. But yeah, an infinite Tsukiyome and uh, Kotoa Katsukame, are like the main powerful one theoretically are not capable of being countered uh, we know for a fact infinite Tsukiyomi wasn't because killer b got caught in it regardless and so and uh so sasuke is like hey come back here uh still chases after gara naruto it's like we gotta go after him and he's like paku here with help you it's like well i can and naruto's like well i could have tracked him like naruto and we need another head a level head on the team so now, all due respect, I know you're strong, but we need to, uh, please, use Paku. He's like, all right, fine. Because Naruto theoretically could track him. He could track him. Uh, but still, they fall out. And luckily, Naruto is being respectful. He's not, um, he's not, like, leaving the group. Shikamaru stays behind. Eventually, Sasuke and Gaara continue their fight. Sasuke's got enough for the two more Chidori. I, th I could even see him going, like, double Chidori here. Like, he's like, ah, boom, just kind of, uh, or like doing like a slash if I just, you know, Gar is still like, um, he's like, Ugh! meaning it's a, you're dead, Sasuke Uchiha, crap! And just he's about to go, Naruto rushes in, he's in KC and one just, boom! Just knocks him straight back. <laughs> Naruto is a maki. You really are amusing. It's like, uh, we got, it's like, Sasuke, you got a guy here right now. Uh, Naruto, what exactly? Uh, what is this? Like, I told you, you weren't the only one training. Now you need to go right now. 
uh, just get out. You, you, you and Sakura get somewhere safe. You're not going anywhere. And just, it's like, get up. And it's like, move. And he's just throwing sand. Naruto blocks it, but unfortunately, Sakura gets hit. Sasuke, you know, sees this. Like, Sakura! He's trying to get her out, but he's now used up his chakra, unfortunately. So if you had a Chidori, you could just cut right through that shit. Don't blow all your load, Sasuke. Just say it. And so Naruto's like, no, Sasuke, Sakura! She's going to die slow and painful, just like the rest of you! It's like, Rrr. And Naruto just, he looks almost like a Super Saiyan, just comes in. And again, speed-wise, Gar can't do a damn thing. Like, Naruto was able to get some good shots and even without any Fox Chakra. Here, he is literally just, boo, 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 boo. he is literally just tagging his ass. So, and eventually, uh, Gar's like, right, enough! He just... Which is like a giant bellowing kind of like sand sphere around and just ah! Naruto gets thrown back. <laughs> you, it's like, you, it's like I'm going to enjoy ripping you to pieces. Shadow clone jutsu, multiple shot clones. Get Sakura out of there. I said no. Poof, and just pops one of the clones, the clones of wind bullets. Not clones come in, start beating his ass. Just as a I want a shuriken. Now, here's a cool ability you can do with Naruto in the chakra mode. He does the shirk as a good kid. Let, let, me, let me lend a hand here. And he narcotes the fox's chakra over the shuriken. It's like, and he just throws it and he sees a, uh, like a small string of chakra. Because remember, you can make a small hand. Connected to it. So it's basically, all right. And it's like, Naruto art. That uh, nine tails yo-yo shuriken. <laughs> and Crow's like, that's the dumbest name ever. And basically, he's got chakra-covered shurikens attached to a chakra that he's pretty much yo-yoing and hitting Gar reveal. He's... <laughs> By the way, someone uh, said, dude, that's you got too much energy. It's like, it, it, it just chill. it's like, it's not entertaining. Like, I'm sorry, you want me to be a dead fish on camera? Come on, I enjoy what I do. So sh to the person who said, he's like, you got, he's like, you're way too excited about this. Like, F you, I'll be excited as I want. That's one of the dumbest critiques I have ever heard, if I'm going to be honest. So, God's like, you. And because it's Karama's chakra, it's actually cutting in deep to the sands. Like, not to you, not to him. There's no way I'm going to lose to a guy like him. And poof, the giant Shikaku appears like, I'm going to thank you by giving you a swift death. And it's like, crap. It's like, uh, it's like you ready to do this, kid? Uh, it's like, uh, time to say hi to your brother. And all of a sudden, it's like, sand coffin? Poof! And there it is. Like, uh, what? It's like, uh, and there he is in the a golden Karama avatar form. It's like, hmm. You might as well... Might as well uh, wake up. Might as well let him out, kid. Me and my brother have some things to talk about. And <laughs> we're not bad, Nuzaros Uzumaki. But I'll show you the true manifestation of this end. Yeah, just bring him out and just... <clears throat> I'm finally free! Let's do this! Uh, Karama! How you been, bro? <laughs> sealed in another... Sealed in a little ningen just like the rest of us, huh? It's like... Uh, Shikaku, Shikaku, I wish I could say it's good to see you, but unfortunately, oh, what's so glum? Why so glum? Are you, are you jealous because I get to look, uh, look as handsome as always and you're this weird golden shit stain? Is that right? Then Krom is like, this is just the form I happen to take. Uh, take, uh, you idiot. I can, uh, I can revert to my true form anytime I want. Uh, regardless, uh, how, how are things? Uh, you do, uh, it's like, let's cut to the chase, uh, chase the Kaku. Uh, it's like, you're going to leave this village alone. You're going to go back into that kid, and you're going to stop torturing him. Oh, really? Well, why exactly would I go and do that? It's like, if not, I swear, if not, I promise, I'm going to, I'm going to, or, uh, eat, I'm going to devour every last bit of your chakra. Here's the, here's the question. Do you think the tail beasts, in theory, if they wanted to, could eat one another? Because we know Ginkaku and Kinkaku, uh, Kikaku and Ginkaku, the the silver duo, gold and silver duo, they ate Karama's stomach lining and got some of that chakra. Which means even though they're massive chakra, they have a physical form, flesh, blood, all that, theoretically. Could the tail beasts eat each other? Hypothetically, let's say Karama did eat all of Shikaku. Would he gain all of that chakra? And the abilities? Could Would Shikaku then reform? Or would it be fused with Karama? 
because they are they were once all one entity. So it wouldn't be it would maybe bypass the resurrection of the tail beast that they do. I've never even considered that till this point, but in theory it's a, it's possible. And because Naruto can manipulate this avatar, he theoretically can make a fox head so large that it could consume Shikaku. I have never once considered that. What are your thoughts on that? What is he? <laughs> you really think you're going to uh, beat me? You, you and your little Jinchuriki friend? Please. By the way, I'm going long, but I'm real, this is, I really want to play catch up on this. Because we're basically reaching, we're going to do the end of this arc. So it's going to go on for at least an hour, five minutes. Please. You think you're stronger with him? Please, I don't need my Jinchuriki. I get my strong man, wind bullet! And, Arch, and Karami just waves a tail. Doo, 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 doo. He's like, really? You're stronger on your own. Is that right? It's like, eh. <laughs> All right. You're, oh, I still got some reflexes, huh? Unfortunately, you can't you can't stop everything, can you? Sand suddenly rises and grabs Karami. <laughs> it's like, now then. And the, you know, the curse marks start to roll over to us. Like, Let's see you get out of this. And Karama and Arch just, He's like, all right, I'm warning you right now. And Narji even says, I'm warning you right now. Leave Gar alone from now on. Stop driving him insane. Try to, you don't have to, you two don't have to be enemies. You guys can work together. You can be friends. Look at me and Karama. Look at me and Karama. We're best buds. It's like, you're best friends with a human apathetic. It's like, really? I'm not the one getting their ass kicked right now. It's like, you? And you know, Shikaku's just getting pissed off drawing wind of sand. Karama just, <laughs> and then Kurama just does the shock. <laughs> and Naruto and Karama are both agreeing to do a tail beast bomb at this point, but they practice enough to be able to do like the small teeny one. And I was like, last chance. And it's like, yeah, go to hell. It's like, fuck. And it's like, yeah, you've had, it's like, you heard him, kid. And fought, Naruto just appears as this form, sta not standing in the air, but standing on a tree, just. <laughs> <laughs> giving up is that right knowing that you ultimately won't win is that and all of a sudden like he sees something he's like wait what's and all of a sudden Naruto disappears because <laughs> he just moves that fast now just <laughs> and Shikaku just sees the no <clears throat> and Shikaku's head like the down one second I'll, I'll move the Naruto image here uh <laughs> basically Shikaku's head and minus where Gar is on top there, is completely blown away. Just boom. And the shockwave just completely wakes Gar up. It's like, ah, ah. It's like well, you, you disrupted my jutsu. It's like, yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? We don't do about it. You and the sand tries to come. And Naruto just chakra hands them away. Just, it's like, ah. you, it's like, this is over, Gar. No, no more killing. No more hurting. This is over. Like, yes, nothing is over. Nothing. It's like I will not just, I will not fade away. I won't disappear. I won't. I never to find just boom. They give the final blow to knock him out. And so they have their moment. Except Naruto is perfectly fine. A little tired out, but perfectly fine. Otherwise, he's standing over guards. Like I won't disappear. I won't. And Naruto just looking at him. And he gives the same speech, although it's a little different because he includes Karama. He's like, I found people. I found friends. Uh, you know, who like me for me, who saved me from my loneliness. Ultimately, Tamara and Gar show up, and or Tamara and Kakura show up, and you know, all's well that ends well. It's like, and they head out of there. It's like, uh, Sasuke, how's Sakura? She's gonna be okay. It's like, good. Whew. It's like, you, it's a Naruto. How you really, you've grown. How far have you come? It's like, <laughs> I can say the same for you. That fire fist that you do, that's pretty damn awesome. And Sasuke's he chuckles, but he's also been like, Ugh, I thought I would have caught up to you by now, but you you just completely eclipsed me. True, but I can only get so much stronger from here. I need to learn more techniques, not just fox, not just the fox's chakra. Honestly, if it was if I didn't have the fox chakra, I doubt I'd be able to beat you in the fight, to be honest. And, and Sasuke, Sasuke does take solace in that, because honestly, right as it is right now, without the fox's chakra, Naruto just has a summoning jutsu. Yeah, you could summon Gamma Bunta, but that really wouldn't aid in that type of fight that much. People say, yeah, if you had summoned Gamma Bunta, you would have won in the Valley of the End. Which is probably true, but Sasuke being a very tiny target would not have made that easy. Apart from that, Naruto is fast, sure, and he's got the Shadow Clone. But without Corona's Chakra, admittedly, Sasuke is actually the better ninja right now. In terms of straight arsenal and all that. Naruto needs some more versatility on his team. 
Last but not least, though, we will we do cut to what happened during the fight between Orochimaru and the third. Which, in this case, fast forward real or fast forward, um, rewind real quick. No, uh, you know, Sarto uh, Orochimaru tried to attack Sarto, but him and Jiraiya both met Orochimaru on the roof. They were going toe to toe with Orochimaru. He summoned the second and the first. Now, Jiraiya, I think, though, being a seal master, knew how to counteract those Edo Tensei. And so, he quickly actually probably sealed away Tobirama. The first, though, being a lot more difficult. And, and the third even says, I'll have to use that juice. It's like, don't you dare, old man. And I say, there's other ways to do this. Like, if you can need, this isn't just for me, Jiraiya. It's, it's for him. It's like, and Jiraiya is looking at it like, you're sure about this, old man. My time. My time came, my genera or my time as Hokage came dead many years ago. I, <laughs> it's time for a new age to begin, Jiraiya. Then, then we're gonna have, then we'll just have to give you the cover you need. And I think in that cage, uh, Jiraiya shows up in Sage mode. And while the third makes a clone to deal with um, Hashirama, Sage mode Jiraiya comes in, and he's overwhelming Orochimaru. Surprise! Like Orochimaru can't use Sage mode because his body's too frail. Jiraiya has a strong body and a lot of chakra. And, you know, and, and they're squaring off. Like, a squaring off. And to be honest, he theoretically should be able to beat Orochimaru here, but he, him and Saratomi already made the agreement. It's like, there's no guarantee. He's too damn tricky. Tricky. Even if he took his head off, there's a good chance he'd come back. Uh, it's like, mm. Now, we don't know if Jiraiya actually, in theory, if like decapitation would kill Orochimaru at this point. I guess it probably would, assuming he wasn't prepared with like a substitution or something. Uh, because it, while he's got insane regeneration capabilities, I, I don't know if he can survive that. Regardless, though, um, he still manages to freeze up Orochimaru long enough for Saratobi to get in there, start, you know, taking his soul. And beyond that, uh, uh, Jiraiya grabs the grass longsword to prevent Orochimaru from like trying to skewer Saratobi. Like, You're not going anywhere this time, Orochimaru. And he even aids him with chakra and like funneling some chakra. Although he gets out of the sage mode because Hiroshima can't do that. And they successfully steal the soul of Orochimaru. Just as the third bag uh, bids his friends, Take care, my disciples. Uh, your foolishness is unparalleled, Orochimaru. I will see you in the next life, my uh, my disciple. Jiraiya. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jiraiya. Uh, as your sense, I have one final, uh, one final lesson. Lead them well. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, is it, you know, I don't, you, you know, I'm not right, but you're not right for it. And right. It's no, no one is, or you know, I'm not suited for it. No one is until the time comes, Jiraiya. Farewell, my pupil. And he just died. He just passes in his arms. And Orochimaru's lifeless black charred corpse is there. And so, yeah, Orochimaru done. Like he done done. Uh, unless Kamado decides to go into the Uzumaki Shrine, which anything's possible. I haven't gone that far in the story yet. Sound 4, and Kamado, get the hell out of Dodge. And the day of mourning comes. Meanwhile, Itachi and Kasame look upon the village and its destruction. Until then, though, this was a long one. But it was one, I, again, I need to play catch up, and I got so, so many more videos to do. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.